And if you look up front on the board, we're going to be working on New Deal programs, things that helped the American people and the American public out of the Great Depression. We have TCI online textbook. We have PowerPoints. We have resources of teachers. But to be able to give the students the ability to dig deeper, do their own research, and find that at the touch of a screen is a fantastic thing. People were upset at Herbert Hoover. They were living in, what were they living in? Hoovervilles, good job. And what were the conditions like in the Hoovervilles? Yeah, really sad, because I'm sure there wasn't running water in those Hoovervilles. I don't know how often they take to shower or bathe. Kids can only see that teacher up in front of the classroom for so long, going through the PowerPoint so many times. So open up your iPads, please, to Canvas. With the iPads, it allows us to do more project-based learning. Um, and the project-based learning, when it comes to doing things such as iMovies or putting together a portfolio, I, as a teacher, can find out that mastery of content so much easier and quicker than standing up maybe giving a multiple choice exam. FDIC, TVA, PWA, CCC, AAA, NIRA, WPA, and SSA. There were so many abbreviations for the programs, it was easier just to say the WPA or the CCC rather than say the whole name. So I'll be assigning one of these to each group. That's what your New Deal program is. Trey, are you working with anybody? You're a lone wolf, dude. Go ahead. Good luck. There are some students that are going to work better when they sound, have a sounding board and they can work with other students. There are other students that we know that work better alone. And I think it also depends on what projects. Where I've seen students that like sometimes like to work alone and, and for 80% of the time will work alone. And that one or two projects out there that hits their funny bone a certain way, they say, hey, I want, maybe I, I'm not as confident. Maybe I don't know this material as much. Maybe I don't know how to do it or explain it. Therefore, I want to join into a group. And so I try really hard to look at the project that we're doing and say, hey, do I really want these guys to do it alone? And do I want to find out if they've mastered the content on their own? Or is this a project they can work together and really have the learning, again, go a little bit deeper because they're collaborating with their partners and they're being able to master that content as they do that. Because it's saying like right here, it was, its goals were limiting crop production because the overproduction, uh, reducing stock numbers because so they, they had some. Or do we want just kind of a general, um, like, like how it affected the people more? Probably because it has to do with the Great Depression. iMovie must contain music in the background from the time of the Great Depression. Should we be listening to hip hop on there? Opera. Vivaldi. No. Try and keep it like relevant to the piece in the period that we're like studying right now. When we have the ability like we do at this school or the school district to have that information and that technology at their fingertips, we as teachers can go so much deeper, especially in the history department. That example I have on Canvas right now that you guys are able to look at anytime you need to, if you need help, obviously ask me and say, hey, I'm stuck or I'm at a certain point. On the district level, I think they're doing a good job with the filters and filtering out some of the garbage. And then I think it comes down to us as teachers to be able to fact check, look to no reputable sources, like I said on this project. As I watch these iMovies, I'm gonna know whether you pulled this from shady sources or sources that aren't good sites, or whether this truly was a good source. So right there, turn it sideways, right, got, yeah, it brings up the toolbar right there, press that. All right, thank you. Yep. What other questions can I answer for you guys?